let's add an assignment to your new Google class. So the way I want to do that, I want to be in the stream view, and this little plus sign down in the lower right hand corner allows me to add things to the stream. And you'll notice that I can add an announcement, uh, I can add an assignment, both of these are very similar. Um, the announcement requires some action on the student's part. Uh, most of what you're looking at in the Google Classroom that I've created for this is our announcements. Okay, uh, They look very similar, but they, the assignments require that the students turn something in. Um, I'll have other videos about these other two, but you can create a question. Um, if you, say, have a class where the students uh, bring their own device or you have a set of Chromebooks that are available to you, you could put a question out there and quickly gauge how your students uh, are doing with the new material, like a formative assessment question or an exit ticket or something like that. You can also reuse posts either uh, between classes or within the same class. Maybe there's an assignment you do every week. You could reuse that same post uh, week after week after week. I'm going to go ahead and click on Create an Assignment. And what I want to do is give it a title. So let's say Math 1 Assignment. One. Um, if there are any instructions I need to add, I can do that. Um, if there's a due date, I can put in a due date too. So let's say it's due at that time, you know, and you can even give it a time. Now the interesting thing about the date and the time is when the student turns it in, um, it's time stamped, so you'll know if they turned it in on time or not, but if a student doesn't meet that deadline, they will start to get alerts in their version of Google Classroom that lets them know that they have some late work. Uh, so let's say that I'm going to put a, a time on there too. Um, topics are kind of interesting. You can create topics and they show up over here as well. So maybe I'm going to call this one homework. What that allows you to do when you create topics is if you have different topics, students can sort things out by homework, maybe midterm or whatever it is. So you can have, they can kind of sort what's in the stream based on the topics that you create. Well, I have a Google Doc that I've, I want to use as an assignment. So I'm going to go to my Google Drive. I'm going to turn in, whoops, assignment number one, and it'll show up right here. But before I turn it, before I post it, what I want to do is show you what you can do. Uh, there are three ways you can share it with your students. One, this is they can just view it. So if it's something you want your students to see and maybe print off, they can do that. This would allow everybody to edit the same file. So if you're, as a class, maybe brainstorming something or collaborating on something, this would be... Everybody in the class, including you, can edit one single file. The one that's probably used most often is this one, make a copy for each student. What this will do is when the student opens this, it'll make a copy in his or her Google Drive and put their name on it. So when they make changes to it, they are the only person who is editing that version of Assignment Math 1. When they turn it in then, um, it will put their name on it because it's coming from their drive. So if you have a student who uh, routinely forgets to put a, his or her name on their homework, uh, this is problem solved. Now, since I have a deadline, or when the, stu or, well, since I, when the, since the students, when they turn it in, it's time stamped, I'll know if it came in on time or not, but also, when a student turns something into you, they relinquish their ability to edit it until you return it to them. Okay, and I'll kind of explain that in just a second. Now, before I assign it, I can assign it right now. I could schedule it to show up in my drive sometime in the future. Maybe I'm not, I don't want it to go, I'm just planning ahead and I want it to show up on Monday. Um, or I can just save it as a draft and pick, you know, maybe you know, time's running out and you have to, to run out and you need to finish this later, you can save it as a draft. But I'm just going to go ahead and assign this one right now. Um, before this, uh, now once it's there, sorry, um, I can, if I click on this, if I open this, it'll open up the assignment. It'll open up the Google Doc, this link. But this link will show me, when I have students, um, how many of them have completed it and how many haven't. When they complete it, they'll start to show up over here on the left. I can select a student's um, work, add some comments, and hit return, at which point when I return it, then the student can edit it again if he or she wants. Um, I can also you know, give it a certain number of points if I want to as well.